Today is June 8th. Birthday is June 13th. My birthday is June 18th. My wife June 23rd. She's perfect. She is perfect. So it's a nice gift for me. I mean, it's a beautiful gift. Okay? Yeah? Let me out. 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 Let I told him maybe one day I'm gonna die or just gonna be in an accident or something just happened for me. Something bad for me. Be in the airport and say goodbye. My hair is brown. <laughs> My eyes are blue. I like to watch TV and play trucks. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter. <sighs> His favorite movie, Curse. Tata? Father? Jak? On ci powie, ile ludzi wejdzie. Dobra, a, ok. Wakacji, dobra? Dobrze? Dobra. Chodź tutaj. It's in Polish. We love you very much, Yasha and Brian. I forgot to give her something. To <sighs> I forgot to give it something just for her. I have to work as a janitor because I'm a Navy 540 student. In other words, I'm an undocumented student, which means I cannot apply for any type of financial aid or any help from the government. When I was about to graduate back in high school, 
and somebody told me that AB 540 students wouldn't be able to, to attend college. I, I really felt that my world was shattered. And, and, and to be honest, uh, I was like, I think I'm not going to be able to make it. And this, I draw the line and, and I said to myself, you know what, you have to do whatever is needed in order for me to go in, into the university. And so I have to work these two jobs to, to supplement myself with, with, uh, with books and money for, for, for my tuition. If I didn't work these two jobs, I wouldn't be able to go to college. I have to leave home around 11 p.m and go, go out the street at night and wait for the bus. I arrive at my first job at 12, at 12 a.m. midnight. And what I do is I sweep around, I sweep the store, I take out the trash until 6 a.m. And after that, I, I get on the bus, get off of the bus and get to my second job. So when I get to my second job, I have to sweep again. I have to take the trash out and and after 10 a.m., I go back to home and hopefully do some, do some sleeping, if not, go straight to school. You know, being a janitor, it's not what I aspire for. It's not what I always wanted to be. I have to, honestly, I have to stick to it because it's contributing to my education. That's honestly the only thing. And that's what motivates me. Yeah, I hope one day, you know, I'll get a better job. When I get out of out of college, you know, I'm gonna get a perhaps a house, get married, uh, you know, perhaps one day have a car, a better car. Uh, those sorts of things, you know, financially. This country has given me a lot, has given me a place to live, has given me education that definitely I want to contribute it back to the community. That's the whole purpose. My name is Kathy Gurney and I live in Chico, California and my husband and I have owned a landscape business for 27 years. We started our business, Craig and I, just the two of us, um, mowing lawns. We started on weekends and, um, and he was working a swing shift so he would work until three o'clock in the afternoon and then um, when I got off work usually about 3 30 or 4 I'd come and help him and then we'd finish up he'd go to work at GD at night and then get up in the morning we started looking to grow the business and we started hiring more employees but we've kind of run into a stumbling block and that is we're having great difficulty in getting employees finding legal employees to work for us you know, the people that are coming to me for jobs are undocumented workers. And without employees, I can't do it. I don't have a one-man operation. Can't be me and Craig out there pushing mowers anymore. If something doesn't happen within the next year, it, it's looking very scary that not only will we not be able to grow the business, there's a good chance that we may even have to shut it down. It would mean maybe not only me having to find a new job and my husband to find a new job, but it would mean my kids having to find something else to do for a living also. I think that's the, that's the biggest fear I have, is that um, am I breaking the law by trying to support my family? Um, and I think that I'm doing everything in my power to do it right. I understand that they came to this country illegally. But I also understand that they came to this country for the same reason my grandfather, a hundred and some odd years ago, came through Ellis Island from Russia, because he was coming for the American dream. They're helping my company grow, and, and in turn, I'm helping them. I'm, I'm helping give them um, a good way of life, better than what they had. I'm helping them raise their children and educate them and send them to school. It's not a bad thing that, that other people from other countries want that. And our country was built on that. And I think that this is an opportunity for the United States to be a leader and to do what's right.